Okay, I did an earlier video about how to go in here and calibrate for your uh, controllers for different type of aircraft, different responses, and different kind of controllers for that matter as well. And you can set your sensitivity and your dead zone for those aircraft that's a little too nimble and respond too quickly to a, just a bare touch on your controller. But you may find out you still have an aircraft that's very, not unresponsive or responsive differently, but maybe even erratic, uh, where you can't really figure out uh, well, what's wrong. It's imbalanced. So it turns out no matter what you do here in the control panel, uh, the elevators or maybe the adjustment on the flaps, whatever, uh, it's just not right. And that's because there's something you need to do before you even get into this, you can even get into the controller setup here in Flight Simulator, even before you launch Flight Simulator. Now, first of all, we're going to go into here to your devices on your system in the new settings app, and you'll be able to find them. But when you click on them, you'll see there's no settings, no nothing to do here. Same with the Xbox controller, uh, nothing you can adjust. So we're going to go back to old school. We're going to bring up the control panel. And we'll go over here to hardware and sound, and we're going to take a look at devices and printers. And we we'll bring up that screen. And as you can see on my screen, I have both an Xbox 360 and, although it doesn't look like it, my Sidewinder Pro uh, from a decade ago or so. Anyways, you right click and you'll see here the setting where you can go ahead and work on the controller settings within Windows. Now you should jump to the screen. Now I have two devices, you only see one, but click on your device and then we're going to go take a look at uh, what you can do here. And this is a test screen. Just make sure that every button is functioning, every slider, whatever, works properly uh, when connected to your system. Since every controller is a little different, you may have to go over here and you're going to have to calibrate it. So you just come on over here to the calibrate screen and it'll walk you through your steps. You press one button uh, right now. Uh, to get it started, and then they want you to cycle through different settings uh, to find out uh, what your range is, and then you press the button again, and you continue through this until you've gone through all the steps for whichever number of buttons and steps they send you to. Once you're done, it'll uh, get to the screen where uh, after the next it'll say you're finished. Uh, let me finish up here and get my Z axis done, and then say uh, next. And it'll say, okay, you're good to go. You're finished. Boom. And we're done. Now you have to click on OK to make sure it sticks. Now because I have two devices, I don't have to go over here and select it here. I can just continue where I left off by selecting it there. Go through the same steps here, calibration and all that, until you're done with that device. And once you're done with that, you just say OK, close everything down, and you're ready to go back to Flight Simulator to do the actual adjustments after you've done the Windows one. So you go in here and do your sensitivity and dead zone adjustments uh, until they're what you like. Then you apply and save those, and you go back to your flying. The end result should be a much more manageable aircraft that responds the way you expect it to in all directions, and uh, you should be good to go. Now I have an earlier video that shows uh, exactly how to do the other control adjustments and there it is in the upper right hand corner of the video and we can take a look here though and we can see our control services are responding the way uh, we expect them to be and hopefully uh, flying will be a lot smoother hey if you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video and if you want to get more just subscribe to old guy geek you can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.